the TURB OGRAFX-16, known in Japan and France as the PC Engine, is a cartridge-based home video game console manufactured and marketed by NEC Home Electronics, and designed by Hudson Soft. It was released in Japan on October 30, 1987 and in the United States on August 29, 1989. It also had a limited release in the United Kingdom and Spain in 1990, known as simply TurboGrafx and based on the American model, while the Japanese model was imported and distributed in France in 1989. It was the first console released in the 16-bit era, although it used an 8-bit CPU. Originally intended to compete with the Nintendo Entertainment System NES, it ended up competing with the Sega Genesis, and later on the Super Nintendo Entertainment System SNES. The TURB OGRAFX-16 has an 8-bit CPU, a 16-bit video color encoder, and a 16-bit video display controller. The GPUs are capable of displaying 482 colors simultaneously, out of 512. With dimensions of just 14 cm x 14 cm x 3.8 cm, 5.5 in x 5.5 in x 1.5 in, the Japanese PC Engine is the smallest major home game console ever made. Games were stored on a Huckard cartridge, or in CD-ROM optical format with the TurboGrafx CD add-on. The TURBOGRAFX-16 failed to break into the North American market and sold poly, which has been blamed on inferior marketing. Despite the 16 in its name and the marketing of the console as a 16-bit platform, it used an 8-bit CPU, a marketing tactic that was criticized by some as deceptive. Developer Doug Snook of ICOM Simulations said the CPU was a performance problem, however, in Japan, the PC Engine, introduced into the market at a much earlier date, was very successful, where it gained strong third-party support and outsold the Famicom at its 1987 debut, eventually becoming the Super Famicom's main rival. Lots of revisions, at least 17 distinct models, were made, such as portable versions and a CD-ROM add-on. An enhanced model, the PC Engine Supergraphs, was intended to supersede the standard PC Engine, but failed to break through and was quickly discontinued. The entire series was succeeded by the PCFX in 1994, only released in Japan. Topic. History The TURB OGRAFX-16 or PC Engine was a collaborative effort between Hudson Soft, who created video game software, and NEC, a major company which was dominant in the Japanese personal computer market with their PC-88 and PC-98 platforms. NEC's interest in entering the lucrative video game market coincided with Hudson's failed attempt to sell designs for then-advanced graphics chips to Nintendo. NEC lacked the vital experience in the video gaming industry so approached numerous video game studios for support. They eventually found that, by coincidence, Hudson Soft was also interested in creating their own system but needed a partner for additional cash. The two companies successfully joined together to then develop the new system. The PC Engine finally made its debut in the Japanese market on October 30, 1987, and it was a tremendous success. By 1988 it outsold the Famicom year on year, putting NEC and Hudson Soft ahead of Nintendo in the market, and far ahead of Sega. The console had an elegant, eye-catching design, and it was very small compared to its rivals. This, coupled with a strong software lineup and strong third-party support from high-profile developers such as Namco and Konami gave NEC the lead in the Japanese market. In 1988 NEC wanted to sell the system to the American market, and directed its U.S. operations to do so. NEC Technologies boss Keith Schaefer formed a team to test the system out. One criticism they found was the lack of enthusiasm in its name, PC Engine. 
The team also felt its small size was not very suitable to American consumers who would generally prefer a larger and futuristic design. As a result they came up with the name TURBOGRAFX-16, a name representing its graphical speed and strength, and its 16-bit GPU. They also completely redesigned the hardware into a large, black casing. However the redesign process was lengthy, and NEC in Japan was still cautious about the system's viability in the US, both of which delayed the system's debut in the American market. The TURBOGRAFX-16 was eventually released in the New York City and Los Angeles test market in late August 1989. This came just two weeks after Sega's Genesis test market launch on August 14, which was disastrous timing for NEC as Sega of America didn't waste time redesigning the original Japanese Mega Drive system. The Genesis launch was accompanied by an ad campaign mocking NEC's claim that the TURBOGRAFX-16 was the first 16-bit console. Initially, the TURBOGRAFX-16 was marketed as a direct competitor to the NES and early television ads touted the TG-16's superior graphics and sound. These ads featured a brief montage of the TG-16's launch titles, Blazing Lasers, China Warrior, Vigilante, Alien Crush, etc. Sega quickly eclipsed the TURBOGRAFX-16 after its American debut. NEC's decision to pack in Keith Courage in Alpha Zones, a Hudson soft game unknown to Western gamers, proved costly as Sega packed in a port of the hit arcade title Altered Beast with the Genesis. NEC's American operations in Chicago were also overhyped about its potential and quickly produced 750,000 units, far above actual demand. Hudson Soft earned a lot from this as NEC paid Hudson Soft royalties for every console produced, whether sold or not. By 1990 it was clear that the system was performing very poorly and was severely edged out by Nintendo and Sega's marketing. After seeing the TURBOGRAFX-16 suffer in America, NEC decided to cancel their European releases. Units for the European markets were already produced, which were essentially U.S. models modified to run on PAL television sets, and branded as simply TurboGrafx. NEC sold this stock to distributors. In the United Kingdom, Telegames released the TurboGrafx in 1990 in extremely limited quantities. This model was also released in Spain and Portugal through selected retailers. No PAL huckards were made, and instead the European system can play all American games without modifications, albeit with the necessary slowdown to 50 Hz. PC Engine consoles, as well as some of its add-ons, were imported from Japan by French-licensed importer Sodiping, Société de Distribution de la PC Engine, a subsidiary of Guillemot International, from November 1989 to 1993. This came after considerable enthusiasm in the French press. This PC engine was largely available in France and Benelux through major retailers. It came with French language instructions and also an AV cable to enable its input to a Seacom television set. Its launch price was 1,790 French francs, about 416 euros as of 2013. NEC claimed that it had sold 750,000 TG-16 consoles in the United States, and 500,000 CD-ROM units worldwide, by March 1991. That year NEC released the PC Engine Duo in Japan, a model which could play Huckards and CD-ROM squared discs, making it the first game console with an integrated CD-ROM drive. The console was licensed to Turbo Technologies Incorporated, who released it in North America in 1992 as the Turbo Duo. In addition to standard CD-ROM squared format discs, the Duo could also play games in the newly introduced Super CD-ROM squared format due to its greater RAM size. The TURBOGRAFX-16 and its CD player could support this new format only through the use of a separately available upgrade, the Super System Card, which TTI sold via mail order. 
The unit came into competition with the Sega CD, which was released almost immediately after. Turbo Technologies ran comic book ads featuring Johnny Turbo. The ads mocked Sega, and emphasized that though the Turbo Duo and Sega CD had the same retail price, the Turbo Duo was a standalone platform and included five pack-in games, whereas Sega CD buyers needed to purchase separately sold games and a Genesis console before they could use the system. However, the North American console gaming market continued to be dominated by the Super NES and Genesis rather than the new CD-based consoles. In May 1994 Turbo Technologies announced that it was dropping support for the Duo, though it would continue to offer repairs for existing units and provide ongoing software releases through independent companies in the US and Canada. The TurboGraph series was the first video game console ever to have a contemporaneous fully self-contained portable counterpart, the PC Engine GT, known as Turbo Express in North America. It contained identical hardware and played identical game software, utilizing Huckard format game software. The final commercialized release for the PC Engine was Dead of the Brain Part 1 and 2 on June 3, 1999, on the Super CD-ROM squared format. The last game on Huckard format was 21M and Mezes. Hotel O on December 16, 1994. Topic Add ons Topic Turbograph CD, CD ROM squared The CD ROM squared pronounced CD ROM ROM is an add on attachment for the PC Engine that was released in Japan on December 4, 1988. The add on allows the core versions of the console to play PC Engine games in CD ROM format in addition to standard Huckards. This made the PC Engine the first video game console to use CD-ROMs as a storage media. The add-on consisted of two devices, the CD player itself and the interface unit, which connects the CD player to the console and provides a unified power supply and output for both. It was later released as the TurboGraph CD in the United States in November 1989, with a remodeled interface unit in order to suit the different shape of the TurboGrafx-16 console. The TurboGraph CD had a launch price of $399.99, and did not include any bundled games. Fighting Street and Monster Lair were the TurboGraph CD launch titles, Wise Book 1 and 2 soon followed. Topic. Super CD-ROM squared In 1991, NEC introduced an upgraded version of the CD-ROM squared system known as the Super CD-ROM squared, which updates the BIOS to version 3.0 and increases buffer RAM from 64 kilobytes to 256 kilobytes. This upgrade was released in several form. The first was the PC Engine Duo on September 21, a new model of the console with a CD-ROM drive and upgraded BIOS, RAM already built into the system. This was followed by the Super System card released on October 26, an upgrade for the existing CD-ROM squared add-on that serves as a replacement to the original system card. PC Engine owners who did not already own the original CD-ROM squared add-on could instead opt for the Super CD-ROM squared unit, an updated version of the add-on released on December 13, which combines the CD-ROM drive, interface unit and Super System card into one device. Topic. Arcade card On March 12, 1994, NEC introduced a third upgrade known as the Arcade Card, aka Dokadu Arcade Okado, which increases the amount of onboard RAM of the Super CD ROM squared system to 2 MB. This upgrade was released in two models, the Arcade Card Duo, designed for PC Engine consoles already equipped with the Super CD-ROM squared system, and the Arcade Card Pro, a model for the original CD-ROM squared system that combines the functionalities of the Super System Card and Arcade Card Duo into one. 
The first games for this add-on were ports of the Neo Geo fighting games Garo Densetsu 2 and Ruko no Ken. Ports of World Heroes 2 and Garo Densetsu Special were later released for this card, along with several original games released under the arcade CD-ROM squared standard. By this point support for both, the TURBO GRAFX-16 and Turbo Duo, was already waning in North America and thus, no North American version of either arcade card were produced, although a Japanese arcade card can still be used on a North American console through a Hakard converter. Topic. Variations Many variations and related products of the PC Engine were released. Topic. Core models The PC Engine Core Graphs is an updated model of the PC Engine, released in Japan on December 8, 1989. It has the same form factor as the original PC Engine, but it changes the color scheme from white and red to black and blue, and replaces the original's RF connectors with an A-V port. It also used a revised CPU, the Hu 6280A, which supposedly fixed some minor audio issues. A recolored version of the model, known as the PC Engine Core Graphs 2, was released on June 21, 1991. Aside from the different coloring, light gray and orange, it is nearly identical to the original core graphs except that the CPU was changed back to the original HU6280. The PC Engine Supergraphs, released on the same day as the core graphs in Japan, is an enhanced variation of the PC Engine hardware with updated specs. This model has a second HUC6270A VDC, a HUC6202 VDP that combines the output of the two VDCs, four times as much RAM, twice as much video RAM, and a second layer, plane of scrolling. It also uses the revised HU6280A CPU, but the sound and color palette were not upgraded, making the expensive price tag a big disadvantage to the system. As a result, only five exclusive Supergraphs games and two hybrid games Darius Plus and Darius Alpha were released as standard Huckards which took advantage of the extra video hardware if played on a Supergraphs were released, and the system was quickly discontinued. Despite the fact that the Supergraphs was intended to supersede the original PC engine, its extra hardware features were not carried over to the later Duo consoles. The Supergraphs has a bus expansion port, but requires an adapter in order to utilize the original CD-ROM squared system add-on. The PC Engine LT is a model of the console in a laptop form, released on December 13, 1991 in Japan, retailing at 99,800 yen. The LT does not require a television display, and does not have any AV output, as it has a built-in flip-up screen and speakers, just as a laptop would have, but unlike the GT the LT runs on a power supply. Its expensive price meant that few units were produced compared to other models. The LT has full expansion port capability, so the CD-ROM squared unit is compatible with the LT the same way as it is with the original PC Engine and Core Graphs. However, the LT requires an adapter to use the enhanced Super CD-ROM squared unit. Topic: Hakard only models. The PC Engine Shuttle was released in Japan on November 22, 1989 as a less expensive model of the console, retailing at 18,800 yen. It was targeted primarily towards younger players with its spaceship-like design and came bundled with a TurboPad 2 controller, which is shaped differently from the other standard TurboPad controllers. The reduced price was made possible by slimming down the expansion port of the back, making it the first model of the console that was not compatible with the CD-ROM squared add-on. However, it does have a slot for a memory backup unit, which is required for certain games. 
The RF output used on the original PC engine was also replaced with an A-V port for the shuttle. The PC Engine GT is a portable version of the PC Engine, released in Japan on December 1, 1990 and then in the United States as the Turbo Express. It can only play Huckard games. It has a 2.6-inch mm backlit, active matrix color LCD screen, the most advanced on the market for a portable video game unit at the time. The screen contributed to its high price and short battery life, however, which dented its performance in the market. It shares the capabilities of the TURBO GRAFX16, giving it 512 available colors, 9-bit RGB, stereo sound, and the same custom CPU at 7.15909 MHz. It also has a TV tuner adapter as well as a two-player link cable. Topic Duo Models NEC Home Electronics released the PC Engine Duo in Japan on September 21, 1991, which combined the PC Engine and Super CD-ROM squared unit into a single console. The system can play Huckards, audio CDs, CD plus GS, standard CD-ROM squared games and Super CD-ROM squared games. The North American version, the Turbo Duo, was launched in October 1992. The American version of Duo was originally bundled with one control pad, an AC adapter, RCA cables, Wise Book 1 and 2, a CD-ROM squared title, and a Super CD-ROM squared including Bonk's Adventure, Bonk's Revenge, Gate of Thunder and a secret version of Bomberman accessible via cheat code. The system was also packaged with one random Huckard game which varied from system to system. Dungeon Explorer was the original Huckard pack in for Turbo Duo, although many titles were eventually used, such as IAM's Ninja Spirit and Namco's Final Lap Twin, and then eventually a random pick. Two updated variants were released in Japan, the PC Engine Duo R on March 25, 1993, and the PC Engine Duo RX on June 25, 1994. The changes were mostly cosmetic, but the RX included a new six-button controller. Third-party models The PCKD863G is a court monitor with built-in PC Engine console, released on September 27, 1988 in Japan for 138,000 yen. Following NEC's PC's naming scheme, the PCKD863G was designed to eliminate the need to buy a separate television set and a console. It output its signals in RGB, so it was clearer at the time than the console which was still limited to RF and composite. However, it has no bus expansion port, which made it incompatible with the CD-ROM squared system and memory backup add-ons. The X1 Twin was the first licensed PC Engine compatible hardware manufactured by a third-party company, released by Sharp on April 1989 for 99,800 yen. It's an X1 computer and PC Engine console combined into one, although the two hardware run mutually separately. Pioneer Corporation's Laser Active supports an add-on module which allows the use of PC Engine games, Huckard, CD-ROM Squared and Super CD-ROM Squared, as well as new LD-ROM Squared titles that work only on this device. NEC also released their own Laser Active unit, NEC PCELD1, and PC Engine add-on module, under an OEM license. A total of 11 LDROM2 titles were produced, with only three of them released in North America. Topic: Other foreign markets. Outside North America and Japan, the TURBOGRAFX16 was released in South Korea by a third party under the name Vista 16. It was based on the American version but with a new curved design. The PC Engine was never officially released in continental Europe, but some companies imported them and made SCART conversions on a moderate scale. 
In France, Sodiping imported Japanese systems and added an RGB cable called Audio Video Plus Cable. This mod improved the original video signal quality extensively and made the consoles work with Seacom televisions. In Germany, several importers sold converted PC engines with PAL-RF as well as RGB output. The connectors and pinouts used for the latter were frequently compatible with the Amiga video port, with two unconnected pins used for the audio channels. Topic. Peripheral compatibility All PC engine systems support the same controller peripherals, including pads, joysticks and multitaps. Except for the Vista, Shuttle, GT, and systems with built and CD-ROM drives, all PC engine units shared the same expansion connector, which allowed for the use of devices such as the CD-ROM unit, battery backup and AV output. The TurboGrafx and Vista units use a different controller port than the PC engines, but adapters are available and the protocol is the same. The TurboGrafx offers the same expansion connector pinout as the PC engine, but has a slightly different shape so peripherals must be modified to fit. The Arcade Card Pro is designed for the original CD-ROM squared system add-on, adding the 2,304 KB of RAM required by Arcade CD-ROM squared games. The Arcade Card Duo is for the Super CD-ROM squared system and the PC Engine Duo R, RX consoles and adds 2,048 KB RAM, since those systems already have 256K of RAM built in. The various CD-ROM game types are CD-ROM squared, standard CD-ROM game. Runs on all CD-ROM squared systems without any additional requirements. Super CD-ROM squared, requires a super system card to work on the original CD-ROM squared system. No card is required for Super CD-ROM squared and Duo consoles. Arcade CD-ROM squared, requires an Arcade Card Pro on the original CD-ROM squared system, or an Arcade Card Duo on the Super CD-ROM squared and Duo consoles. Topic. Video formats All PC Engine hardware outputs video in NTSC format, including the European TurboGrafx. It generates a PAL compatible video signal by using a chroma encoder chip not found in any other system in the series. Topic: Technical specifications. The PC Engine is a relatively compact video game console, owing to an efficient three-chip architecture and its use of small ROM cartridges called Huckards turbo chips in North America. Hudson Soft developed the Huckard Hudson Card from the B-Card technology it piloted on the MSX. Huckards are about the size of a credit card, but slightly thicker. They are very similar to the MyCard format utilized for certain games released on the SG-1000, SC-3000 and the Mark III Master System. The largest Japanese Huckard games were up to 20 megabits in size. All PC Engine consoles can play standard Huckards, including the PC Engine Supergraphs which has its small library of exclusive Huckards. With the exception of the budget-priced PC Engine Shuttle, the portable PC Engine GT and the PC KD863G monitor, every PC Engine console is also capable of playing CD-ROM squared discs, provided the console is equipped with the required CD-ROM drive and system card. The Supergraphs and PC Engine LT both required additional adapters to work on the original CD-ROM squared system and Super CD-ROM squared respectively, whereas the Duo consoles had the CD-ROM drive and Super System card integrated into them, as did the Super CD-ROM squared player. Some unlicensed 400 games by Games Express can only run on Duo consoles, due to their games requiring both a special system card packaged with the games and the 256 kilobytes of RAM built into the Duo. 
The console's CPU is a Hudson Soft HUC 6288 bit microprocessor operating at 1.79 MHz and 7.16 MHz. It features integrated bank switching hardware, driving a 21-bit external address bus from a 6502-compatible 16-bit address bus, an integrated general-purpose I.O. port, a timer, block transfer instructions, and dedicated move instructions for communicating with the HUC 6270A VDC. Its 16-bit graphics processor and video color encoder chip were also developed by Hudson Soft. It holds 8 kilobytes of work RAM and 64 kilobytes of video RAM. Topic: Display. Topic: Resolution. X horizontal resolution variable maximum of 565 programmable to 282 377 or 565 pixels or as 5.36931751 megahertz 7.15909 megahertz and 10.738635 megahertz pixel dot clock taking into consideration overscan limitations of court televisions at the time time, the horizontal resolutions were realistically limited to something a bit less than what the system was actually capable of. Consequently, most game developers limited their games to either 256, 352, or 512 pixels in display width for each of the three modes. Y vertical resolution variable maximum of 242 programmable in increments of one scanline. It is possible to achieve an interlaced mode with a maximum vertical resolution of 484 scanlines by alternating between the two different vertical resolution modes used by the system. However, it is unknown, at this time, if this interlaced resolution is compliant with, and hence displayed correctly on, NTSC televisions. The majority of TURBOGRAFX 16 games use 256 times 239, though some games such as Sherlock Holmes Consulting Detective did use 512 times 224. Topic: Color Colors available 512 9-bit Colors on screen, maximum of 482 241 background 241 sprite Palettes, maximum of 32 16 for background tiles, 16 for sprites Colors per palette, 16 per background palette color entry number 0 of each background palette must be the same, and 15 per sprite palette plus transparent, which is displayed as an actual color in the overscan area of the screen. Topic. Sprites Simultaneously displayable, 64 on screen, 16, 256 sprite pixels per scanline. Sizes, 16x16, 16 times 16x32, 16 x 16 times 32, 16 times 64, 32 times 16, 32 times 32, 32 times 64. Palette, each sprite can use up to 15 unique colors one color must be reserved as transparent by one of the 16 available sprite palettes. Layers, the HUC 6270A VDC was capable of displaying one sprite layer. Sprites could be placed either in front of or behind background tiles by manipulating a bit which caused indirect pixel color entry number zero of the background tiles to act as transparent. Topic. Tiles Size, 8 times 8 Palette, each background tile can use up to 15 unique colors via one of the 16 available background palettes and one shared color, BG color number 0, for a total of 16 colors per tile. 
the first color entry of each background subpalette is ignored. Instead, color number 0's RGB value is shown in its place, the common, shared color. When a specific sprite is set to show behind the BG layer via the priority bit, all tiles that use relative color number 0 of 16 will not show BG color number 0, but instead will show the sprite pixel, if not opaque. Layers, the HUC6270A VDC was capable of displaying one background layer. Topic. Audio capacity Six wavetable synthesis audio channels, programmable through the HUC6280A CPU. Each channel had a frequency of 111.87 kHz for single cycle of 32 samples while not in D, A mode with a bit depth of 5 bits. Each channel also was allotted 20 bytes 32 times 5 bits of RAM for sample data. The waveforms were programmable so the composers were not limited to the standard selection of waveforms square, sine, sawtooth, triangle, etc but standard and semi-standard waveforms, such as a 25% pulse wave, were used fairly often. The first two audio channels 1 and 2 were capable of LFO when channel number 2 was used to modulate channel number 1 with vibrato. The last two audio channels 5 and 6 were capable of noise generation. Optional software enabled Direct DA which allows for sampled sound to be streamed into any of the six PSG audio channels. When a channel is in DA mode the frequency is as fast as the CPU can stream bytes to the port, though in practicality it is limited to 6.99 kHz when using the timer interrupt with its smallest loop setting 1023 CPU cycles or 15.7 kHz using the scanline interrupt. There is a method that combines two channels in DDA mode to play back 8-bit, 9-bit, or 10-bit samples. The addition of the CD-ROM peripheral adds CDDA sound, and a single ADPCM channel to the existing sound capabilities of the PC engine. Topic. Region protection With Huckards, a limited form of region protection was introduced between markets which for the most part was nothing more than running some of the Huckards pinout connections in a different arrangement. There were several major aftermarket converters sold to bypass this protection, and were sold predominantly for use in converting Japanese titles for play on a TG-16. In the Japanese market, NEC went further by adding a hardware level detection function to all PC engine systems that detected if a game was a US release, and would then refuse to play it. The only known exception to this is the US release of Clax, which did not contain this function. The explanation commonly given for this by NEC officials is that most US conversions had the difficulty level reduced, and in some cases were censored for what was considered inappropriate content, and consequently, they did not want the US conversion to re-enter the Asian market and negatively impact the perception of a game. With some minor soldering skills, a change could be made to PC engines to disable this check. The only Japanese games that could not be played on a U.S. system using one of these converters were the Supergraphs titles which could only be played on a Supergraphs. There was no region protection on TurboGrafx CD and CD-ROM squared system games. Due to the extremely limited PAL release after NEC decided to cancel a full release, there were no PAL huckards made. The European Turbografs therefore played the NTSC American, Japanese titles, converted to PAL 50 Hz format. <laughs> CD hardware technical specifications and information Oki MSM5205 ADPCM chip with variable speed input clock, and 64 kB RAM for audio sample storage. 
Only one channel of 4-bit compressed audio decompresses to 12-bit, top 10 bits output through DAC was supported. It supports a sampling rate of up to 32.088 kHz. Programmable, timer-controlled, electronic volume attenuator to fade out the CDDA and ADPCM audio channels together or individually. The PC Engine CD-ROM interface tray has 64 KB of DRAM for storage of program code and data loaded from the CD. The system card contains the BIOS program used to boot CD media and provides functions for software to access CD hardware through a standardized interface. Later system cards had extra RAM and updates to the BIOS. The Duo series has the same BIOS ROM V3.00 and RAM 256 kilobytes total as a PC engine system equipped with a super system card. The Duo implements the memory as a single 256 KB SRAM chip rather than the split 64 KB DRAM, 192 KB SRAM. The list of known CD-ROM BIOS revisions are V1.00 first release system card, came with the first versions of the PC Engine CD-ROM squared interface unit, V2.00 upgrade system card came with later versions of the interface unit. V2.10 upgrade system card came with even later versions of the interface unit or sold separately. V3.00 final release built into several products and available as a super system card. See below. The list of known system card releases are System card V1.00 first release. Came packaged with the original PC Engine CD-ROM squared system. System card V2.00 BIOS update. This adds support for CD plus G discs. System card V2.10 BIOS update. Auto disk change detection is implemented. Was the first system card that was sold separately from the add-on. System card V3.00 aka Super System Card 1.5 megabits RAM 192 kilobytes RAM upgrade and BIOS update This expands the RAM available for the CD-ROM unit to 256 kilobytes when including the existing built-in DRAM It also offers a final BIOS update to V3.00 the PC Engine Duo, Turbo Duo in North America had 256 KB of RAM and the same V3.00 BIOS built into the system. Games developed for this system card bore the Super CD-ROM Squared System mark and could not be played using an older system card. Arcade Card Duo 16 megabits RAM 2048 kilobytes RAM upgrade exclusively for the Super CD-ROM squared system and PC Engine Duo consoles. This greatly expands the RAM available to 2048 kilobytes. The BIOS revision was unchanged from V3.00. Games developed for the Arcade Card Duo Pro bore the Arcade CD-ROM squared Mark, and could not be played using prior system cards. Arcade Card Pro 17.5 MB RAM, 2240 KB as 2 MB plus 192 KB RAM upgrade for the original CD ROM squared system. This greatly expands the RAM available to 2240 KB. The BIOS revision was unchanged from V3.00. The Arcade Card Pro combines the functions of the Super System Card and the Arcade Card Duo into one unit. The 2 MB of RAM is accessed through ports or units of single 8 KB banks and is intended for graphics data storage rather than program code. Its flexible addressing system allows for rapid transfer of data to RAM. While intended and marketed for the original CD-ROM squared system, it's actually compatible with Super CD-ROM squared add-on and all duo consoles without any issues. Games Express CD Card, Bootleg System Card. 
This was released by Hacker International for play of unlicensed games Express 400th Games. The GECD card is essentially a dongle, a BIOS V3.00 based machine like a Duo or a Super CD-ROM squared is required for running those games. Topic. Corresponding CD-ROM products CD-ROM squared system, consists of two components, a compact CD player CDR30, and the interface unit IFU30, which connects the CD player into the PC Engine console itself. These were sold separately or as part of a bundle. The interface unit also stores save data and provides a common power supply for the PC Engine and the CD player. A system card is required for the PC Engine to access the functions of the CD player. Later revisions of both, the CD player CDR30A, and the interface unit IFU30A, featured improved disk reading capabilities. System card, the original CD-ROM squared system card included with the interface unit. The system card underwent a few slight revisions, with version 1.0 being the original model, followed by version 2.0, which adds CD plus G support, and version 2.1, which auto-detects discs. Only version 2.1 was sold as a standalone unit. ROM squared adapter, RAL30, a cable with two large ends that allows a PC Engine SuperGraphs PyTG4 console to be connected into the CD-ROM squared interface unit. Super System Card, PiSC1, an upgraded system card that changes the BIOS of the CD-ROM squared system to version 3.0 and adds the 192 kilobits of SRAM required to play Super CD-ROM squared format discs. Super CD-ROM squared Pi CD1, an upgraded version of the CD-ROM squared system add-on that combines the functions of the interface unit, CD-ROM player and Super System card into one unit. PC Engine Duo Pi TG8, a PC Engine console with a built-in Super CD-ROM squared unit. Super ROM squared adapter Pi AD18, an adapter that allows the PC Engine LT Pi TG9 to be connected into the Super CD ROM squared unit. PC Engine Duo R Pi TG10, a redesigned version of the PC Engine Duo. PC Engine Duo RX PC EDUO RX, the third version of the PC Engine Duo. Arcade Card Duo PCEAC1, a RAM expansion card that adds the 16 megabits of RAM required to run arcade CD-ROM squared discs on any Super CD-ROM squared and PC Engine Duo systems. Arcade Card Pro PCEAC2 combines the functions of the Arcade Card Duo and the Super System card into one card. Designed and marketed primarily for the original CD-ROM squared system. Topic. Drive unit Single-speed CD-ROM drive, managed by an NEC microcontroller and using the SCSII interface. Transfer rate of 150 kilobytes per second. Topic. Reception In Japan, the PC Engine was very successful, and at one point was the top-selling console in the nation. In North America and Europe the situation was reversed, with both Sega and Nintendo dominating the console market at the expense of NEC. Initially, the TURBOGRAFX-16 sold well in the US, but eventually it suffered from lack of support from third-party software developers and publishers. In 1990, Ace Magazine praised the console's racing game library, stating that, compared to all the popular consoles, the PC Engine is way out in front in terms of the range and quality of its race games. Reviewing the Turbo Duo model in 1993, GamePro gave it a thumbs down. 
Though they praised the system's CD sound, graphics, and five-player capability, they criticized the outdated controller and the game's library, saying the third-party support was almost non-existent, and that most of the first-party games were localizations of games better suited to the Japanese market. In 2009, the TURBOGRAFX-16 was ranked the 13th greatest video game console of all time by IGN, citing, "...a solid catalog of games worth playing," but also a lack of third-party support and the absence of a second controller port. The controversy over bit-width marketing strategy reappeared with the advent of the Atari Jaguar console. Mattel did not market its 1979 Intellivision system with bit width, although it used a 16-bit CPU. <laughs> Legacy In 1994, NEC released a new console, the Japan-only PCFX, a 32-bit system with a tower-like design. It enjoyed a small but steady stream of games until 1998, when NEC finally abandoned the video games industry. NEC supplied rival Nintendo with the CPU for the Nintendo 64, released in 1996, and former rival Sega with a version of its Powerva 2 GPU for the Dreamcast, released in 1998. A number of TURBOGRAFX-16 and TurboGrafx-400 games were released on Nintendo's Virtual Console download service for the Wii, Wii U, and Nintendo 3DS, including several that were originally never released outside Japan. In 2011, 10 TURBOGRAFX-16 games were released on the PlayStation Network for play on the PlayStation 3 and PlayStation Portable in the North American region. In 2010 Hudson released an iPhone application entitled, TURBOGRAFX 16 Gamebox, which allowed users to buy and play a number of select TurboGrafx games via in-app purchases. In 2016, rapper Kanye West's eighth solo album was initially announced to be titled, TurboGrafx 16. The title, however, was later changed to, Yee. In 2019, Konami announced at E3 2019 the TURBOGRAFX-16 Mini, a dedicated console featuring many builds and games. It's the first release of official hardware of TURBOGRAFX-16 family since the closure of Hudson Soft in 2012. Topic. Emulation. Emulation programs for the TURBOGRAFX-16 exist for several modern and retro operating systems and architectures and are at varying levels of emulation ranging from beta stage, to near-perfect emulation of all PC Engine and TURBOGRAFX-16 formats. See also List of PC Engine games List of TURBOGRAFX-16 games